from the Bob Mills Weather Center, Oklahoma weather expert, Cassie Hyder. I need to be watching those school zones as well today. Kids, a lot of them in Oklahoma are already back to class, Cassie. Yeah, I'm probably dressed in shorts, at least hopefully today. Man, it has been so hot over the past several days. And so far for the month of August, we're only four degrees above normal. But man, it was a hot weekend. We actually got to 99 degrees yesterday in Oklahoma City. It was 97 on Saturday. Today, it looks to be even hotter. The Search and Cachet camera, part of our Pike Pass Sky Kim Network, blue skies were already at 80. 83 degrees with that wind today out of the southwest coming in at 10 miles an hour with two points in the upper 60s. It feels more like 86 degrees. We still have some 70s though left in the far western part of the panhandle, but most of us already approaching the low to mid 80s with a southwest wind between about 10 to as much as around 20 miles an hour. So it's going to be a little breezy this afternoon. It's going to be very warm. We do have some showers and storms over parts of Nebraska. All of that is moving off to the east and main jet stream as well to the north. We also have this other storm system in southern Texas. That's actually kind of moving back to the north and the west, but will not be impacting Oklahoma. But we do have some changes headed our way. In fact, it looks like we have several chances of at least seeing some rain in parts of the state. The first being as we actually get into tomorrow, we're going to have a cool front move into the far northern part of the state, at least early on in the day. I think it's going to take some time before it moves into Oklahoma City, but it will bring at least a slight chance of rain and storms. The much cooler air is going to stay over the Great Lakes and the Ohio River Valley, but behind it, temperatures should start to drop off a little bit for your Wednesday and especially into Thursday with temperatures only climbing into the 80s for many of us. Now, as we get into the weekend, we start to warm things back up. It does look fairly dry. Only some data is trying to bring in a couple of showers for Saturday and Sunday. Generally, I think the dry air is going to win out. But by the time we get into early next week, we're also seeing another storm system move through Monday into Tuesday. A couple of waves moving in that will bring us a higher chance of seeing some rain and storms. So it does look a little unsettled. And with that being said, that should help to push temperatures back down at least a little bit. So how much rain are we looking at over the next week or so? Well, with this first cool front that's moving in as we get into tomorrow, you're really not expecting a whole lot of rain out of it. Now, most of the rain, I think, will actually fall in the far northeast. That's where a lot of the data is holding it. It's showing less than a tenth of an inch in Oklahoma City. Really not expecting a whole lot here in the metro. However, by the time we get into early next week, it looks like it looks a little bit more active, like we're going to have a, at least a better chance of seeing some rain and storms across the state. So at this point, yeah, a little bit more rain across central and especially eastern and southeast Oklahoma. So we'll see if it all holds together. But today it's just going to be dry and it's going to be really hot with not a whole lot of wind. It's going to be a little bit more breezy out west, but 100 degrees today in Ponca City, 100 in Oklahoma City, 100 this afternoon in Ada. And then overnight tonight we're looking clear. Here comes the cool front only moving into the panhandle. So we're still going to be very warm. Temperatures dropping into the low to mid 70s generally. And tomorrow afternoon, out ahead of that cold front, it's going to be even hotter, a high of 102 degrees in Oklahoma City. Now, behind the front, eventually, it's going to take a little bit more time, but highs only making it into the low to upper 90s, kind of depending on where you are in northwest Oklahoma. But the upper 80s and the panhandle, low 100s across the far south. As far as rain is concerned, I think the higher chances will stay in north, central, northeastern Oklahoma. But we still have at least a slight chance of getting some rain, maybe an isolated thunderstorm in Oklahoma City. But by Wednesday, behind the front temperatures dropping down into the upper 80s low 90s across the far south and rain chances start to wind down for Oklahoma City now we're only talking about a 10 percent chance but chances do look higher in the southeast and also out in the panhandle so by Thursday temperatures staying in the upper 80s before we do warm back up for the weekend ladies back to you